I used to think that the world of industrial machinery was harsh and rigid. It certainly seems so. However, after I studied and worked at the Surakarta Industrial Mechanical Engineering Academy, or ATMI, I saw that there was another side to industrial machinery. Those machines have become my companions. They have also prepared me for entering and living in the industrial world. I would like to invite you to become acquainted with ATMI as both an educational and industrial institution. I would also like to introduce you to life in the world of industrial machinery. Ada perbedaan antara arus CC dan arus C. Jadi perbedaan ini cukup cukup spesifik kalau kita perhatikan ya. Dan ini merupakan CC. Dasarnya akan melihat transistor untuk mencampur sinyal yang berbeda. This is where youth who are willing to try to give their lives meaning through training with industrial machinery are educated. Some commence their training in senior high school in St. Michael Occupational High School. Some, however, have come from other general high schools all over Indonesia and commence their training right here in Utmi. For me, Entering Atmi was like struggling to enter a narrow alley. Candidates have to strive to be admitted. In order to be accepted into Atmi, a candidate has to pass several difficult tests. Even after being admitted, there is still the possibility of being removed from the program. Students spend one third of their time learning theory inside these classrooms. The remaining two-thirds of their time is spent with the industrial machinery. What makes it special is that ATME utilizes a one-machine, one-student learning system. I can still recall my first days studying in Atmi. It felt so difficult. The first year was spent mostly with bench work and working with conventional machinery. This is what is called bench work. It is working with files and vices. It looks simple, but this is the place to shape the personality of one who wishes to work in the world of industrial machinery. A strong and solid mentality is developed through our hands by producing the desired shapes and measurements. Standing all day from morning to afternoon requires excellent physical endurance. Through this we are familiarized with hard work. After entering ATMI, students are taught not to use time casually. If a student is late, a red note is marked on his absence card, and later the student has to make up the time through overtime. Once, I had to work by myself when the other students were having a holiday. Since then, I realized that lateness has economic consequences attached to it. Being late results in disadvantages.
At the end of the first year, I started to gain a sense of quality. This sense of quality was gained because during the first year, I demanded of myself that I produce the best possible results, both with my hands and the available machines. I had never imagined before that this piece of metal could be turned into such a quality product by a first year student. Through using the file, we learn that the best quality product is not easily achievable. We have to proceed step by step to achieve the best result. When listening to music, one sometimes comes close to catching the smooth feeling of the musician. During the second year of study, I too experienced this same feeling towards this machinery. These machines that appear so rigid have to be played with a sharp mind and smooth feeling. During the second year, the students work with state-of-the-art machinery using numerical control for lathing and milling. The bench work is reduced, but thinking and mental sharpness is increasingly improved. Precision in measurement is very important in the industrial world. Look at this small object. Its shape is very complex with precise measurements. Such a product can only be manufactured by one having a sense of feeling of the machine. An understanding of the importance of quality production must be balanced with an awareness of the limitations of production costs. Fine quality products may be manufactured, but the production costs may also become too great. Here, students are trained to recognize limitations in production costs and to discover ways to overcome them. Next to the second grade room is the tool center. In this place, the cutting tools are reground. Most of the machines in the tool center are manufactured by Atmi. During their second year experiences, the students also learn to see reality. There are challenges and limitations ahead of them. Thus, the students have to be able to find opportunities in actual situations on the field.
I recall that in my third year, I already felt I had been prepared enough to work. All activities in this year are completely integrated with the production division. What made me happy in my third year was that I was introduced to state-of-the-art machinery applying the computer numerical control system. These machines are capable of manufacturing products with varied shapes and also in large numbers with the same measurements. In this room, the students learn to design products using computer-aided design. Meanwhile, through the use of computer-aided manufacture, they can simulate their designs before the automatically composed program is transferred to the machine. I am always amazed at ATME because the machines are constantly being updated to keep up with changes in the contemporary industrial world. That is exactly why the students here are never outdated. That is the entire learning process inside ATMI. You might think that this education must be very expensive. How can such an education be funded? That is exactly why ATMI also exists as an industrial institution. This means that ATMI also manufactures products. The products of the students are used in the production processes. All production profits are utilized to pay for the educational costs. This is one form of cooperation between the industrial and educational worlds. So now, I would like to invite you to see ATMI as an industrial institution. We are now inside the Technical Bureau. We meet our customers in here. It is also right here that we receive orders from the outside. Before orders are processed by the machines, plans have to be made. The first step is to prepare the paperwork. The paperwork is then transferred to the Planning Bureau. From inside this bureau, the entire production process is planned in detail. From the planning bureau, the paperwork is handed over to the Construction Bureau.
There are three construction bureaus in ATMI. The first is the General Construction Bureau for ATMI Standard Products. The second is the Special Construction Bureau for Plastic Product Moulding. The third is the Construction Bureau for Research and Development for new products that require further research and development by ATMI. After the detailed planning is finished, the ATMI machines are ready to proceed with production.
You have just seen an example of the production process in Atmi. But this is not all that there is to Atmi's products. There are still many other products and machines that I would like to show you. This machine is employed to manufacture large sized products. The machines inside this room process the final parts of moulding devices, commonly called moulds. This machine is used to manufacture plastic products. This is the wire cut machine, which is a cutting machine that uses wire as its cutting edge. This thin wire is capable of cutting metal of this thickness. I have taken you all around ATME. This is ATME's work in educating the youth of this country. The development of the industrial world must also be accompanied with quality human resources development. The industrial world itself should be responsible for this. ATME has started this development. Now ATME is inviting all of you, especially the youth, to be prepared for facing the worldwide challenges ahead.